times can we then lose? How many times can we break the hoops between us? Only teardrops. Bienvenidos, as we say here in Spain, and I'm in a splendid mood after this fantastic Eurovision Song Contest. Well done, Malmö, the best side of Sweden. Mona, the Eurovision Song Contest, what a ridiculous act of folly. But I guess that's the closest we come to folk culture back home in Sweden, isn't it? Dada, don't be reactionary and you can leave now because it's time to check out all the nice events which Barcelona has to offer. Motorsports, Me Campa de España de Resistencia, a regatta and an international music festival for the young ones. But I personally will go dancing. How many times do we get it right between us? Because, above all, we have a rich flamenco festival with performances, workshops and concerts. Mona, now you have left out La Festa Catalana with human towers yet again. Because if you are interested in Andalusian culture, you better go to Andalusia. That's why I recommend you to come out here to Panades, because we offer you Catalan culture. Like this time, for example, human towers up in Igualada and then we have nice traditions like a two-day bicycle festival here in Alvendrell. Or what about the triathlon for children in Sieges? And those of you who understand Catalan can let actors take you on a journey throughout history at the old Royal Palace of Villafranca de Panades, now known as the Wine Museum or Vinzeum. And now over to this week's big news, because in a world where one minority language dies out after the other, this time one has miraculously been born. La Pau, in the eastern part of Aragon, which shares a border with Catalonia. And I would have been very happy for our neighbours if this hadn't been a purely political initiative. Until now, the people living here in La Franja were considered to speak Catalan, but that will now be denied. So I can only say, Vargonia, cavaliers, Vargonia, and I don't say it in Catalan, but in fluent La Pau. Vergüenza, cavaliers, vergüenza. Du säger, I usually don't understand you when you speak Catalan, but today it's different, since you're speaking lengua aragonesa propia de la area oriental. Because you see, in Aragon, there aren't any hard tones of separatism. No, here we have a pliable language, which happily submits itself to Spanish, a world language. Mona, this is all politics, not linguistics, or as Till Stegman, professor of Romance languages at the Goethe University of Frankfurt said, this contempt for Catalan makes Spain an exception among European democracies. Dear citizens of the world, don't listen to Jöran's propaganda. No, please listen to the Spanish government, because they are right when they say that the Spanish constitution explicitly gives Aragon the right to have its own languages. And what could be more important in a democratic society than the Spanish constitution? Thanks, that's enough. The world has reached its verdict on the grounds that politicians are specialists in politics, while linguists are specialists in linguistics. This week's winner is... Catalonia! Yes! Finally a real victory! And the sun is shining, so come and discover Panades, a part of Catalonia! Some linguists here in Spain are a bit funny indeed, because they would always talk about dialects when they describe the differences between Spanish spoken in the Argentine with that, in Cuba or in Madrid for that sake. But then as soon as they come to the Catalan language, the smallest variation is enough for them to find a new language, like now this La Pau in Aragon. But, but why don't they use the same criteria? I can't understand it, so I'll just have to continue studying.